It seems you have some skill, boy. Who are you calling boy? I am Yoshitsune Minamoto. Then I suggest you quit talking and fight! You want some? Then come and get it! <laughs> Lu Bu had raised an army. This news reached the ears of the brave warriors of Wu, who had been living in peace since the fall of the Serpent King Orochi. As the most powerful man history had ever known, Lu Bu was determined to use his might to seize power in this strange land. However, Sun Jian did nothing, not wanting Wu to contribute to the destruction of the peace that the land had enjoyed. Sending out Sun Se, Zhou Yu, and Ranmaru Mori as scouts, he preferred to simply keep an eye on things for the time being. While on their scouting mission, Ranmaru and the others came across a young warrior who refused to back down, even in the face of one as powerful as Lu Bu. I have heard reports that Lu Bu is stirring unrest across the land. After we fought so hard to defeat Orochi, why does he do this? In response, Dong Shuo, Masamune, and even Cao Cao have raised armies. In our current state, Wu would shatter if we mobilize for war again. We must prevent such an occurrence no matter the cost. Listen to me, my people. I have decided that we must fortify our defenses for the time being. There is much about this realm that we cannot yet see. Much about our enemies that we do not yet know. For now, we must stand our ground and keep our eyes open until Sun Se returns. I chase Ling Tong all this way, and what do I find? There's nothing going on here. And why did you bring me? Oh, I just wanted to bring you along for the ride. I thought you could do with letting your hair down. Wu provides this bat with his only opportunity to rest his wings. I thought Ranmaru was here too. Where has that boy gone to? I thank you for your aid. I am Yoshitsune Minamoto. The hero of history? Surely you can't be. I have come in search of someone. Yet, I fear I am but one man. This is not your fight, but I ask for your aid. You are Yoshitsune? My name is Sun Jian, leader of Wu. Then I shall ally myself to you. Call on me when you have need. If I follow you to battle, perhaps I may find a clue to his whereabouts. In that case, you should make yourself comfortable. I have no plans to set forth for the time being. The tiger will not leave his den? But there is every chance that the warrior known as Lu Bu may attack. Lu Bu fell back without engaging Ranmaru and the others in battle. For he would only fight when it suited his purposes. Having raised an army to conquer the land, Lu Bu was eager to begin his quest for domination. Meanwhile, the young warrior that had confronted Lu Bu Yoshitsune Minamoto joined forces with the Wu army. However, Yoshitsune was not alone, as the remnants of the Orochi army had followed him, led by a mysterious figure. Ranmaru and the others sensed that yet another threat was slowly approaching. Almost as if drawn by the chaos created by Lu Bu, Masamune Date, Cao Cao, and the tyrannical Dong Zhuo had also prepared forces for battle. My lord, the enemy has appeared, led by Dong Zhuo and Goimon Ishikawa. These invaders must be repelled. Are there any brave soldiers here who would volunteer for this task? Those two? Well, they're not really my type, but I think I could handle them. I cannot allow a woman to go out there alone. Ling Tong, you must accompany her. Well, if it's in order, then I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> it 
Impressive! You remind me of Diao Chan! Come now! She can't be any more lithe and graceful than me! You're skillful! But still, no match for her charms! I knew you had no taste! You gotta forgive me, Okuni! I didn't know what I was doing! I promise I'll never betray you again! Just don't be mad, okay? Zhou Yu, I believe you also have seen something of these lands. Following Orochi's death, I traveled south and held talks with Ming Wu. However, once I heard that Wu was under siege, I returned. It seems that Lu Bu has begun to stir as well. So chaos is just around the corner. I think it's about time for our lord to get a move on. My lord should consider the current situation. I believe that Wu is about to be targeted. The enemy will come, and we must prepare for the inevitable. Xiao Qiao and I will strengthen the defense. There's nothing to worry about with me around. I'll keep everyone safe. The Wu army repelled the assault of Dong Zhuo. Seeing the error of his ways, Goemon Ishikawa joined Wu, along with Zhou Yu and Xiao Qiao, who sensed the impending chaos and were driven to protect Wu at all costs. Despite the encounter with Orochi's followers and the surprise attack by Dong Zhuo, Sun Jian and the men of Wu continued to cling to the hope for peace, which now hung by the most fragile of threads. However, one man saw this as an obstacle to his ambitions and slowly stalked Wu in an effort to wake the sleeping tiger. Sun Jian, if you will not march, then lend me troops. I will. I cannot do that. It will merely serve to aid the chaos pervading this land. Lord Sun Jian is just trying to protect everybody. Please calm down. According to some scouts, the Wei army has been spotted approaching. They are led by Cao Pi with Peng Tong at his side. My lord, is this the time to be so lax? What? Why are they attacking? Did I do something bad? Zhou Yu, head to Nanjiang. Use your guile to find out what Wei really wants. I promised you I'd help, and I delivered on that promise. Ming Huo, your strength was truly a blessing. Will you not join us in the battles to come? How could we turn down an invitation as polite as that? We'd be glad to help, wouldn't we, darling? Zhou Yu, report on your findings. It seems Cao Pi's intent was not to stir unrest, but to spur Wu into action. How will the tiger respond to Cao Pi's actions? Father, Lu Bu is attacking with numbers greater than before. Also, it seems an unknown general carrying about what appears to be a giant ring of prayer beads has joined him. Beads? That has to be him. Finally, he shall not escape me this time. That is the man I have been seeking. I thank you for your aid. Farewell. Blast! Quad, gather an army and follow him at once. The Wu army is refusing to break its ranks, like a turtle deep inside its shell. Then we simply need to crush that shell. <laughs> I thought you might say that. But myself. I would first lower the turtle's guard and wait until it sticks out that soft, vulnerable head. <laughs>
The Wu army defeated Wei at the Battle of Nanjong. The Nanman king Meng Huo and his wife Zhu Rong agreed to join Zhou Yu and the kingdom of Wu. There was a reason why Cao Pi had attacked Wu at Nanjong. He was hoping to enlist the aid of the Sleeping Tiger in the upcoming battle against the forces of chaos. Peace or war? Wu was faced with the most difficult choice. It was at this time that Lu Bu once again appeared before Wu. At Lu Bu's side was Yoshitsune's nemesis, a powerful demon who had assembled a massive army formed by the followers of Orochi. Yoshitsune, wait! You mustn't be hasty. Ah, Sun Quan. Behold, that is my enemy, the evil Kiyomori Taira. You may think Lu Bu is a demon, but he has nothing on that monster. So, storm clouds have gathered around the dragon. An already bad situation has become worse. Victory will not go to the timid. Ride with me, men of Wu. There you are, Kiyomori. Ah, uh, Yoshitsune. Where have you been hiding yourself? I have called you here so that I may face you in battle. Ah! Quiet, demon. Claim your destiny in hell. Such a pity. Wait! Arr! You are Sun Quan's brother? I am Yoshitsune. Thank you for your aid in fighting that monster. Hey, think nothing of it. I was getting bored with all this recon anyway. Hmm. No matter how much we strengthen our defense, it will not be enough to defend against Lu Lu and Kyu Mori. I will also try and persuade Father. We have no choice but to mobilize now. Well done, Tiger Prince. An admirable decision. If we attack, we may gain much, but we can also lose everything. If we do nothing, we will lose nothing, but we'll gain nothing as well. After the last war, you chose the latter, because you did not wish to risk any more losses. But now Lu Bu has embraced conflict and is coming for us. The chance for peace has been lost. To attack or defend, which is the better choice? There is no way to tell for certain, but one thing is for sure. Chaos once again has the world in its grasp. I wish to fight Lu Bu with you, Father. To protect what needs to be protected. Is that not what it means to be a man of Wu? You speak bravely, my son, but you must not act rashly. Don't worry about it, Father. This is where my reconnaissance comes in handy. Lu Bu doesn't seem to want to leave Kiyomori's side, which means his main camp is undermanned. If we hit them at Yangping Gate, they'll sit up and take notice. We may even be able to split the two of them up. Your plan is dead on. I will personally lead the attack on Lu Bu's base. Take care. We will be behind you all the way. I will cut open a path for the Tiger of Wu. Wu, with the help of Yoshitsune, defeated the forces of Lu Bu and Kiyomori. Sunsei joined the battle as well, and the Wu army's morale continued to rise. Finally, Sun Jian made his decision. Wu will stand and fight. With this declaration, the Wu army found itself facing two enemies, Kiyomori, who relied on his immense power to control others, and Lu Bu, who used his overwhelming might to vanquish all that stood in his way. Their first objective was to attack Lu Bu's main camp at Yangping Gate, whose defenses were weakened while he was away. On the way to their target, however, they were confronted by another figure who was determined to rule the land for himself now that Orochi was gone. What is this? I see some unknown troops' movements ahead. Hang on! 
We're nowhere near Yang Ping yet. This looks like okay Hazama. And that's not Lu Bu. That flag, the sparrow and the bamboo. It's the banner of the Date clan. Date? I had heard he joined with Orochi and was spreading chaos across the land. Yeah, and spouting some garbage about leading the world after Orochi's gone. No matter. We must get through him in order to get to Yangping Gate. All forces, advance! Lord Cao Pi ordered me to fight with you. I expect many pies in return. I pledge my assistance as well. Today, I swing my halberds for Wu. Look at this. I'm surrounded by big burly men without a single lovely lady in sight. Uh, how about I pick those flowers and plant them in your head? Then you'd be pretty. My lord, the way to Young Ping Gate is clear. Now, give the order for all troops to attack. Father, now is the time to show the world the spirit of Wu. We're ready to go anytime. Just give the word. Look around you. This is the real face of Wu. Surely there is no indecision left in your heart. In the war against Orochi, I was nothing but a burden and my capture divided my sons. Although we claimed victory, I must not forget that much suffering accompanied that feat. You have been acting with the utmost prudence. I am sure that a similar tragedy will not occur again. Our hard-won peace has been taken from us. It is our duty to reclaim it. Our hibernation is over. This tiger is ready to pounce upon those who would destroy our happiness. The time has come for the tiger to awaken. Forward! Wu defeated the Date army at Okehazama. Inspired by Wu's determination, Xu Chu and Pang Dei of Wei decided to join the Wu army. Riding high on their momentum, the Wu army continued towards Yangping Gate. Just as Sun Tse had predicted, Lu Bu's main force was away from the gate. Their numbers were thin and ripe for attack. It was the perfect time for Wu to make its move. The troops merely waited for their leader, Sun Jian, to give the word. Sun Jian had always been one to put the welfare of his men first, avoiding any battle that had not been thoroughly analyzed. However, in this instance, he cast aside his usual discretions and gave the order to invade. At last, the tiger had finally awoken from its slumber. My son, I leave command of this battle to you. Make haste and catch Lu Bu off guard. You can count on me. Now let's go have some fun! Right! Lu Bu shall soon find my blade at his throat! Lord Sun Jian! I heard from Lord Pang Dei that you are fighting Lu Bu and Kiyomori. Will you allow me to join this glorious campaign of justice? You are most welcome. Your presence will sharpen this tiger's fangs. Sun Tse and his men succeeded in defeating Lu Bu's army and capturing their stronghold at Yangping Gate. Lu Bu had seemed unenthusiastic during the battle as he collapsed to an ignominious defeat. Wu welcomed Ma Chao, who had come to reinforce them and the morale of the Wu troops continued to rise. 
However, Kiyomori's large army quietly began moving to surround the Wu forces. It was all part of Kiyomori's plan. By using the weakened defenses at Yangping Gate to lure them out, it would be easy to surround and annihilate the Wu army. Gaining the assistance of Masamune, Kiyomori's army grew even stronger. Facing the powerful trio of Kiyomori, Lu Bu, and Masamune, the Wu army found itself in a most precarious position. My lord, I have seized control of Lu Bu's base. However, there is something that concerns me. I fear that it was all too easy. There is a possibility this was a plan to lure us out. Is Lu Bu that smart? Have you forgotten? The evil genius Kiyomori stands at Lu Bu's side. Lord Sun Jian, an urgent report has arrived. We've been surrounded by the main body of Kiyomori's army. Ugh, this is just like him. Sun Jian, how will we survive this? The tiger has been stirred from his slumber, and he is ready to feast. Follow me, and we will break through. Will I allow Kiyomori to surpass me? No. I am Lu Bu. I will let none surpass me. There is no one greater than I. Lu Bu has betrayed us! Betrayal? Hardly. That man is being true to himself. Just who was Kiyomori? He was human once, my sworn rival and yet a great man. But that was before he sold his soul. Still, now he can find his rest. What will you do now? You've accomplished your goal. Will you go home? I find myself drawn to that Lu Bu, a man that even Kiyomori could not control. I would see where he goes from here. Your skill would be a welcome addition to the forces of Wu. If you have nowhere to go, you will always be welcome here. I was unsure of Wu at first, but perhaps the Den of the Tiger is not such a bad place to be. Before Kiyomori died, he said we were too late. Ah, don't worry about it. That's just a loser's bluffing. I wonder. I have a bad feeling about this. My lord, there is a disturbance at Chi B. There are reports of Orochi gathering forces there. This must be what he meant. All forces, make haste to Chi B! I have urgent news. Lu Bu is approaching from the rear. Stay out of my way. Wait, Lu Bu. Where are you going? Kiyomori's ingenious plan should have led to total victory. However, Lu Bu's defection to Wu dramatically evened the odds. Due to this sudden change of events, the might of Lu Bu, combined with the indomitable spirit of Wu, managed to overcome Kiyomori's nefarious plot.
However, Kiyomori had foreseen the possibility of this defeat and held one remaining card up his sleeve. That card was none other than the return of the Serpent King, Orochi. Once again, the Wu army, Kiyomori, and Lu Bu found themselves engaged in full-scale war. This time, the battle would take place at the cliffs of Chibi. Lu Bu, who merely wished to prove himself the strongest, and the Wu army, who hoped to once again bring peace to the war-torn land. Orochi lay in wait for them both. Lu Bu, even I would not be so bold as to challenge Orochi alone. For that he betrayed Kiyomori. Does his desire to be the best have no limit? There is no time to lose! We must follow Lu Bu at once! The burning spirit of Wu will ensure that Orochi is returned to ashes for good! One and all, to the second coming of the mighty Lord Orochi. It's going to bring the house down. What's wrong? Are you feeling a little seasick? Sorry. I was just thinking about Lu Bu. <clears throat> he was of a single purpose. To be the very best. And maybe... his courage helped inspire the men of Wu. Did I just compliment Lu Bu? Wang Gai, I must be coming down with something. My lord, you need to lay off the bad jokes. <laughs> <laughs>